We didn't do that for very long. <laughs> Next, we learned how to hold our assembled instruments and how to sit properly. This is how it should look. This is how it should not look. <laughs> Our setting that helps us to remember how to sit correctly is we sit with our feet flat on the floor, on the edge of our chair, with a tall back and our heads up. We were then almost ready to play our first real note. But before we played that note, we needed to learn how to breathe correctly. A correct breath should be taken through the mouth, should look relaxed and deep, and be almost silent, like this. An incorrect breath is one that is taken through the nose, shows a lot of movement, or is loud, like this. and the correct breathing, we are now ready to play our first note. To play our first note, we combine all that we learned about our instrument. We combine the correct posture, the correct hand positions, embouchures, grips, and breathing to perform our first note. On that first day, it sounded like this. We then practiced expanding our lung capacity and orchestra control by performing long tones and for percussion steady strokes. This entails holding single notes for long periods of time or trying to keep a steady beat for a long period of time. Moms and dads, this is where I the echo effect. Moms and dads. <laughs> We should be practicing long tones and steady strokes at the beginning of every practice session at home. After practicing these, that note now sounds more like this. parts of each note and how to play them correctly. This will ensure that our songs sound great. The point at which each note begins is called the attack. This is a terrible term for this because an attack should never sound aggressive or violent like this. It should always be smooth and light like this. the actual sound of the note. It should always be smooth and even, like this. It should never be shaky or wobbly, like this.
producing that first note correctly put us one step closer to being able to play our first song. In our next lessons, we learn how to read basic music notation, focusing on how to read different notes and different rhythms. After we learned these, we were ready to begin working on our first real song. Our first song, Hot Cross Buns, sounded something like this on our first attempt.
Before we play our final song, students were given the opportunity to perform a solo or small group selection for you this evening. Our one volunteer, Miss <laughs> Megan Stott, will be performing on top of Old Smoky.